Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog and welcome here to Nevada. We're heading out to Death Valley today to jump around in my Kit Fox, a 172 tail dragger over there, and then a carbon cub, which is gonna be taxing over here in just a minute. We've got about an hour flight out there, so we're gonna jump in, head out there, and bounce around to as many little dirt airstrips that we can, and have a great time. All right, guys, well, right now- All right, if you wanna hang a right and take off, I'm ready. All right, I am ready, just one second. I'm gonna back taxi for about another 100 feet or so. Sure. Give myself a little bit more margin. All right, temps are up, everything's already been run up. Carb heat flaps, trim is set, fuel pump is on. There goes the Super Cub. Here comes the 172. Once I see him go over, there he is, let's go. All right, All right boys, up. Break the Start getting our flaps out. Hit my brakes. And like I said, this is gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so we're gonna go to Lima 72, and uh, basically we go there, and, and then until we get there, we hang a hard left and uh, come down the corridor of the restricted area. And what altitude are you guys gonna plan on climbing up to? Uh, well, I was gonna ask you guys, you wanna fly low and come through canyons, or go up and come above them until we get over there? I vote low. All right, well, at least need to get up to about 45 to clear this first one. So we've got four guys here. We were actually planning on having a few more airplanes, but I think they got stuck in like in bad weather, snow, whatever else. They were coming from different states. 172 is from Colorado. We've got another guy up from Montana, but he didn't bring his airplane. And uh, yeah, so now it's three. So we're gonna be heading out Death Valley today, bouncing all around. I might make one or two videos. I don't know if I'm gonna, how much time is how much time we're gonna be spending out here. And then tomorrow we might either go down southern Arizona or we might go out to Utah. I don't really know yet. We were planning on camping out here for the weekend, but a system's coming in and it's going to be kind of crummy and snowy and rainy and everything else out in this area. So, Mosky, we're heading up somewhere a little bit warmer, a little bit nicer. And if you don't know what Mosky means, it's just a PNG word. It's a pigeon word that just kind of means like, ah, screw it, forget it, whatever. Let's not do that, basically, in the simplest terms. Sometimes it's easier just to say another word in a different language that encompasses a lot more than having to say a lot more, you know? <laughs> the only thing bad about flying with Super Cubs is they fly very slow, like probably like 75 knots. I'm putzing along here at 83 knots, and uh, I'm at 4,500 RPM, and uh, I'm still catching them, so. Not the best on road taxes from what I hear. Well, restricted airspace is about two miles that way, all military restricted area, so we gotta go around it where we're going. I, I may have the name wrong, but I know the peak, the highest peak in the Sierra is, is the highest in lower 48. This valley off our right is Panama Valley. That's where we're gonna have like three or four strips to hit. But I'll start with Trona. And we're going over the ridge ahead of us? Yeah, over the next ridge and into sand, hard left, and uh, we'll be about 12, 15 miles out once we uh, get on the other side of the ridge. So, from what I was told, right where kind of the area that we're going is actually where they filmed Planet of the Apes. I don't know if it was the original one or the one that came out later, or, I don't know, but anyway, that's kind of interesting. It's been a while since I've seen that movie though, so I don't know. So, this uh, Panaman off our right, that's where Matt was telling me the military's gonna be zipping in and out of here all day, so we're gonna hug the, uh, there. So that's just a military operating area. We are allowed in there. And it looks like... I don't see anything on my ADS-B right now, but uh, mine hardly works, so I don't know. Yeah, they don't show up on ADS-B. Take a look at this down here. This is awesome. A little breezy through here. I have no idea what the winds are, but... And are we landing at this place, uh, Trona? No, we're going south of it and land at uh, the Pinnacle. Uh, okay. I just had you dial that in so we could get the corridor here. Got it. All right, I'm cutting the corner here to the left as tight as I can. We're going on the other side of this stinky uh, salt water. On the west side? 
I'm going right down the middle of it, and then uh, you'll just see where I'm headed. All right. Yeah, so if you see those uh, weird rock formations in the valley out there? Uh, they all look kind of weird. Oh, at the very end? Yep. Oh, yep, okay. That's the Trona Pinnacle, so we're going to land just this side of it. Uh, we're going to land to the east. All right. I wonder what all these power lines out here are for. Yeah, that's a good question. It looks like there's pumps all along these roads. And they're right underneath these power lines, so they must be pumping something off it. The only thing bad about flying as kind of like a hobby, like bush flying, is it takes forever to get anywhere. Like motorcycles, like you're kind of having fun majority of your ride, unless you're riding in Arizona, you have to ride like 80 miles to the trail. But it's just kind of like boring until you get where you want to. Not complaining by any means, so don't take it that way. Just a different kind of flying, I guess. All right, let's go ahead. Oh, get our fuel on. Our harnesses are good. Our switches are good. Um, everything's on where we want. We're on the radio frequencies that we want. We have to go around for any reason. There's no reason why we have to land anywhere today. We'll just power up and get out of there. Our V-Ref uh, will be coming in at 55 knots and then just slow into 53 over the numbers, basically. That's basically my VSO. Uh, what are the winds right now? Pretty calm still? Feels pretty calm. Calm. All right, looks like I might be able to just go in if they're all good. I'm just making a longer final than they are right now. I'm at 60. There's 60. We're continuing. Let's shut down, maybe fly the drone around. Well guys, this is our first stop here. Um, I'm just gonna throw the drone up really quick. Uh, these guys just stopped by, uh, anti-pavement. You guys go check them out. Looks like they had a really cold night last night. Um, but we were gonna be camping out in this kind of area. And now after talking to them, it's probably a good idea that we're not camping out just because I think it got down to like 28 degrees or something last night. So yeah, it would have been freezing even with a nice warm sleeping bag. So, we're going to be heading out, I actually don't know actually, uh, hopefully get some really cool shots of us taking off out of here and uh, on to the next. That's all right. I'm a little bit faster than they are. Let's go. All right, there's 40. Get off the ground. Get her flaps out. And go try to catch up to them. All right, we are 19 miles from Ballarat, right in the middle of this stinky lake. Okay, have you passed the uh, power plant off the left? What's that? Have you passed that um, plant that's smoking out on the left yet? I am a beam it right now. All right, well, we'll see if I can catch up to you most of the way. I'm on a course of uh, zero, zero, 006. Zero, zero, 006. This is pretty different than Papua New Guinea, isn't it? 
And it's perfect weather. Uh, right yep, there anywhere. All right, well, I'm almost caught up to them now. After about 10 minutes of flying. I'm passing these little buildings off to the right. What's that over there? That's where we're landing. Do you see me or not? No, I just hold that. All right, you can land any road. I'm going to look at the parking lot. I'm looking at you right now. All right, let's check our brakes. Brakes are good. Whoa. <laughs> I just passed those buildings. What's your, what's your location? Fuel is on. North of the building. All right, they're right up here. I got you. All right, I'm coming left, so stay out of the way. You're heading right for me now. I'm going to go to the right of you. All right, I see Left em. of you, I guess. Oh, I got you. All right, I've got you guys in sight about a mile and a half out. I see you out there. So I'm going to line up on this parking lot, which is where we park. And I'm pretty sure with this Cub, I'm, I should be all right. But if it looks sketch at all, then I'm going to break out and land on the road. And you're landing to the south? I'm landing right against the mountain to the east right now. Winds are light. Okay. I'm just going to stay above you guys. All right. There he is. He's getting ready to touch down now. 172 is right over there. All right. I see what he's doing. That parking lot looks small. Very. Oh, yeah. He's down and stopped easy. I plopped it. How big is it, you think? It's tight. I'd lay it on the road, Brian, just for, well, I mean, it's up to you. You've landed everywhere else I have, so whatever you want to do. But uh, that's the first time I've ever landed the parking lot, and uh, I usually land the road. Here's the road here. Low pass, take a look at it, bud. Yeah, just watch out for the fire breaks in it. I'm going to I'm going to wait for Brian, and I'm going to drag the road so I can know where all the signs are. All right, right, off, right behind my tail is the side, um, and then you should be good either side of it. I'm shutting down. There's two notches of flaps, get her trim back. Let's see how Brian does in the parking lot. If he does fine, then I should be fine because I can land shorter than him. No dramas, eh? All right, I guess I'll come in with that way, too, because it looks like uh, plenty of room for you guys. It was a hell of a bounce for me. I dropped it hard. Is that, what's that down by the, in between the signs, is it like a fire pit? Uh, yeah, I think it is a fire pit. All right, I'll drag and see what it looks like, and if it feels right, then I'll land. If not, I'll go on the road. Sounds good, I'm shutting down. All right, full flaps, 53 knots coming in. Go, let's get out. And what what is your approach speed on that? Uh, my approach, I can like 45. Then I try to touch down in the 30 to 35 range when oh, I'm. Oh, but you're not on the prop. What's that? You're not. No miles. miles an hour. Oh really? Yeah. Man, I'm at 53 coming in. 53. 53. Really? Well, that's well, that's at 1.3 VSO. That was right there coming in at 53. And then over the numbers, those maybe down to 50, but. Slow that thing down. You can I get that to. thing down to like in the 30s for touchdown. That's I, right. When I touched down here, I was only doing maybe 30. Like really? Was, but I mean, I was nose high and tail low. And That's where that drop came from. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I was, I, it looked short. So I was, I was getting as slow as I could. <laughs> Man, what a view out here, isn't it though? All right, guys. Well, this is a cool little place. Uh, they've got all these little like fire rings all throughout the parking lot uh, but right down the middle there really wasn't anything so not sure what this is this is a little ghost town or something with like a little general store I'm not sure it probably was a mining town from who knows when but this whole area is like the Death Valley area we're gonna walk up to the general store see what's there and get out of here to the next oh well, someone uh, here right. creamed their prop at one That's time <laughs> I 
I just love walking around places like this with history. It's, you just wonder what it was like, you know, in its prime. Like it just, it's so cool. And like, how did this bug right here get out here? And when did it break down, you know? Awesome. All right, well, let's finish walking around here, jump in the planes, and I actually don't know where we're going again, so we'll just follow the leader. Here. 14 miles. Everything is good. Trim set. Pump is on. Everything else is set. Let's go. All right, I'm up. Copy that. Uh, 3015 is what I'm getting for an altimeter, and I am 13 miles from destination. How was the parking lot? Uh, I was actually off quite a bit sooner than I thought it was going to be. Good deal. It's always a good feeling, right? <laughs> yep. I gave Clint my camera, so maybe he can get my landing in here, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know if it's long enough, and Fun. We might do some takeoff and land and get some more drone footage or something, I don't know. Ryan, how far back are you? About a mile. I got you in sight. Okay. It's kind of tucked uh, in over here on the back side of this little hill. All right, well, I've got Brian inside. I don't see you, though. Brandon's right in front of me. He's hard to see, though. That color is impossible. It really is. This is the ghost cup. All right, so this is like another dirt road out here. Um, and there's a ditch part way down. So we need to land past the ditch, preferably. <laughs> Ryan, do you see the ditch? It's just before the windsock? Yeah, I saw that, the land after the windsock. Yeah, so I need to either wait at the top or back taxi. What do you want, to, what do you want me to do? Uh, just wait at the top, I guess. Do you have enough room? Don't hit me. We don't even have to get out of here. Actually, well, whatever y'all want to do. We can back taxi because it's going to be pretty tight up there with three. Yeah, and there's a windsock right there, Pat. So we'll land. I'm just going to back taxi to the other side of the gulch and you guys can just come over me and then land. All right. Without the windsock, we've still got plenty, plenty of room. Let's get our trim in here, though. We've got two notches of flaps now. Hey, Brian, I'll just wait for you to land a back taxi before I come in. Got it. I'm kind of coming in now, but I'm going to maybe have to do another pass if Brandon's not out of the way. I'm almost clear. All right, full flaps. Get our trim all the way back. He's coming in really low for how far out he is. I'm clear of where you need to land, so I'm going to get up here and shut down. I'll be out of your way in just a second here, so you'll be good. All right. All right, I'm clear for you. All right, thanks. Well, guys, I don't actually know how many more places that we're going to be going to today. And I want to make sure that I have enough battery power to 
end the video where a good spot to end the video is. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a video a thumbs up if you did. Share it with your friends, share it anywhere you like. It helps the channel grow. Hey guys, this is Mineta Airstrip. I don't know, it's maybe like 1300 feet. I'm just guesstimating here. But if you wanna come try this place out on your flight sim, I'll leave all the details down on my Patreon page. So you can come try this out. We are about ready for lunch. We're all getting very hungry. We've only been to like three places, but we're gonna jump over this mountain here, fly Star Wars Canyon, I guess that's what it's called, and head up to a cool place for lunch. So that's in the next video. So if you wanna see us jumping around a little bit more here at Death Valley area, be sure to check out the video right after this.